Hey, good morning, guys. Do I own any non-fungus torrents? No, I don't.
I don't dabble in anything. If I do something, it's supposed to make me money. So I don't really dabble in anything.
Yeah, I know I was muted. <clears throat> now I'm not. These uranium ETFs are not really performing well right now. I was hoping for some higher lows, but looks like they want to take another leg lower. Oh damn, CEI, that's a quick candle. They're waiting for the vote. Well, the market doesn't really like the vote, I guess. Hey, anyone going to the Pareto event in Stockholm today? Looks like a lot of these software and uh, tech names are getting a bounce today. For now.
what I'm looking for in mRNA. Um, well, mRNA showed some relative weak. Well, actually, I think it, you know maybe a continued move to the hundred day. If I can get a tight entry and NIO, you know, it's it's a bear flag. You know, this thing could. You know, it just looks ugly. The continued market weakness, this thing could go down, but not really excited about any of them. I'd rather do the triple ETS. B and TX2 in a bear flag on the 60 minute could easily go down to 230. Financials are strong. Financial ETFs. And oil gas. Uh, my mock interview, I've gone through it. I, I'm ha about halfway through. CFMOS, um... Yeah, they look exactly like the like oil gas ETFs. I try to do the ETFs like ERX, Gush. Uh, I know CF and MOS are not the oil gas, but they look exactly the same, pretty much. There seems to be a very high correlation. <clears throat> Uranium having a green day. Uh. Yeah. All right. Hey, hey, John Rainey. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> CRC setup. Oh, yeah. For those of you with small accounts, this thing looks pretty. It's the right sector. It looks very good. And it's been showing relative strength uh, to the oil, oil gas sector. This thing started move. Okay, never mind. What? Well, yeah, actually it did. This was hanging out there all time highs. Or, well... 52 week highs uh, when the oil sector or energy sector found support a month ago. Uh, mm -hmm. Damn, why didn't I short this ARK K? I was watching it here in high 114s. CRC ADR is low, yeah, 4.1, yeah. 
that's true right yeah right had a very nice setup here on the 23rd of uh, September very very beautiful setup right here when it broke out you see this higher lows tightening range had a previous trend where it went up 60% pulled back found support started building higher lows started surfing the 10 20 day moving averages looks like my lithium names are starting to or some lithium names are finding strength Uh, AMR, yeah, everyone thought coal was dead, oil was dead, gas was dead. Here we are. Oil, gas hitting new highs, solar hitting new lows, or solar's really weak. No one knows anything. CRK. Uh, this needs more time. Org, UEC. Yeah, those actually the individual uh, uranium names look to be stronger than the ETFs. Interestingly, we'll see. I'll keep them on watch. I'm really excited about these. <sighs> or okay, maybe not really excited, but there is potential. There is potential. GSM, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Not for today, but uh, maybe for tomorrow.
Damn, this lithium is really ripping. PDM, what's that? Yeah. How is AMAT doing? Not really doing great. It is building higher lows. Well, you're asking me, you can see it yourself. My daily process before the market opens, yes. I turn on my computer 15 minutes before market open. Then I turn on the streaming software. I warm up my vo vocal cords. That's about it. Yeah, I don't snooze. So. <laughs> Noko or whatever energy drink. Well, not so much Noko anymore. I, I do. I know my, my voice is great. I sound like an angel. I actually have an elastic band. I never use it. <laughs> the market is shit since I stopped not going. Yeah. <clears throat> Looks like the major indices, like if you look at the spies, they do look a bit vulnerable on the weekly. Like if you if you lose, start losing these um, recent lows, man. The Q's too. If you lose uh, yesterday's lows, it could get interesting. That, that would be a dream scenario. Can't we get up 10 other 10, 15% in these major indices? That would be great. Exactly. That would be a gift. Just get the sell off over with. Now we're just going to grind back into the declining 10 and chop around and and then maybe have another leg lower or, or maybe not. I don't know. I really hope we get another leg lower. It's just so needed. Things, has been, things have been so grindy over the past few months. The only two large cap stocks I remember since maybe the spring or something that have made big moves or mrna and bntx now these things made enormous moves i didn't size enough and i sold too early but that's another story other than that i really don't remember many things making big moves 
Oh yeah, and UPST, that one too, yeah. I, I sold it unfortunately 15% ago, but yeah, that was a big one too. I made, uh, well, at, at one point I was up almost 80% on it, so that's nice. But again, this, this wasn't, um, I don't remember what size I had on it, but I don't think I had full size on it. That's so annoying. I don't know why. I never have full size on the things that work out really well. You know why? Because when you try to buy them, they just go up, 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 and you don't want to chase. You wait for a dip to get the full size, and the dip never comes. That's why I'm never full size on the things that go crazy. Fucking loser. Ema? Yeah, maybe a few more days would be a really good setup. Your sound is muted. Uh, turn your speakers on. If you're muted, if, you, if the sound is muted, turn your speakers on. Very. Uh, I really don't see anything here. <clears throat> Yeah, ASAN was another textbook textbook one. If I, yeah, if it had you know more liquidity, I would have bought it. This this thing was really nice. The perfect EP. Well, except for the intraday sell off, but even the sell off was perfect because it stopped exactly where it sh should have stopped, and then it started inching back and took out the highs of the day, and went up forty percent in a few weeks. That's really nice. So I guess AMC is not going to 2 million. Going to 3? Three? 3 bucks or 3 million? I haven't done any uh, fundamental analysis on this thing since uh, June. So I, I can't, I don't have an updated price target for it. Yeah, um, um, and guys, by the way, those of you breaking chat rules, I'll just ignore. And if a moderator catches you, they're gonna mute you or ban you. Just a daily reminder of following the instructions on the screen. Uh, I'm at. Oh, this one failed. Yeah, what a shame. Uh, fits. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I, I guess the setup is decent, but the market. The market. Surprised Ama isn't on your watch. Are, are you serious? Have you seen the liquidity on this thing? W what are you surprised about? This thing is utterly untradeable for me.
One thing I'm a little bit annoyed about is the C CEI yesterday. I totally missed it. It was too fast. It had to be so quick. But man, it had a 40% intraday correction, but it was just too too quick, man. And then it got halted. How come pumpers like Zach Morris are not well because the SEC yeah yeah that's a good question. I guess they're underfunded. They don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't know. Well, on something like CEI, for example, yesterday, you know, <clears throat> when you get these uh, parabolic type of moves, you want to wait for the first sign of weakness, right? You want to wait for some type of a uh, lower highs or first red five minute candle. Um, you know, when trading these things intraday. But this one, it was just super quick. It had a, a red one minute candle, got halted, had another candle. You had seconds to get in. And that's not really what I'm looking for. I don't know if there was any news or something, but it almost had to be. I didn't pay attention, as I said before. Oh well. <clears throat> A fake offering? What, what does that mean? What, what does a fake offering mean? Fake offering news. What do you mean fake offering news? Who put out the fake offering news? People fabricated it? There were rumors? Benzinga, <laughs> Benzinga. They, oh, they, okay. I need all I need to, I, I have everything I need to know. It was their fault, their fault. <laughs> okay, that's, that explains it. Spice are still, you know, they can't get a, uh, above these declining moving averages on the 60 minute. And I, like I said, on the weekly, sorry, Spice, not SPX. So, you know, these things could give good another 5, 10% if you take another leg lower.
All right, guys, I'll cut the stream. I need to go to an event. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.